Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. In this video I'm going to be looking at the automatic troubleshooters built into Windows 7 that I talk about in Chapter 11 of the book. There are several ways to find the automatic troubleshooters in Windows 7. You can search for Troubleshoot in the search box in the Start menu, and you'll see it here, or you can access them in the Action Center by clicking on the flag in the far right of the Windows 7 taskbar and opening the Action Center. Here we'll see there's a troubleshooting link, so we'll click that to find problems with the computer. Now, let's have a look at these troubleshooters one by one. The program's troubleshooters are useful if you have software that isn't working properly on your computer, especially if that software was written for an earlier version of Windows, such as Windows XP. The hardware and sound troubleshooters are here if you're having difficulty with a piece of hardware. Maybe you're having difficulty configuring it, or installing the driver for it. Maybe you can't see a printer, or perhaps you have no sound on your computer. If you have no internet connection, or you can't see computers on your home or work network, the network and internet troubleshooters are here. The appearance and personalization troubleshooters are here if you're having difficulty with the way Windows 7 looks. Maybe you can't see the aero glass effects on the desktop. And for everything else, there are these system and security troubleshooters. This section covers everything from running Windows Update to improving power usage, antivirus, and other security and system related problems. Windows 7 is also able to keep itself up to date with the very latest troubleshooters from both Microsoft and from third parties, and it's well worth ticking yes to say you want to keep them up to date here. These troubleshooters will fix some problems in Windows quickly and simply, and running them is as easy as clicking on a link. You can also click on the section header to see all of the troubleshooters associated with that section, and again these can be run simply by clicking on a link. Each one will pop up a wizard with simple controls to help you diagnose and fix problems in Windows 7. You can find more in-depth information about the automated troubleshooters and hundreds of troubleshooting tips and techniques in my book. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.